Hi, this is Ryan Scott with RRC Performance Engines. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust your valves. Now, the first thing you need to do when you adjust your valves is when you pull your plugs out, pull them out halfway. Debris and, and dirt and grime get in between the fins and around the spark plug hole and you don't want that dropping in your motor. So what you want to do is you want to back them off halfway and use, uh, use compressed press there and blow out around each individual spark plug and all through the fins. Make sure everything all the debris is out of the area before you pull your plugs completely out. After you blow all that out, go ahead and take the plug the rest of the way out. And I've already loosened up the valve cover here to speed this up. So you pop this off and now you're inside the motor. Now the next thing you want to do is <clears throat> you want to check your torque on stuff. So we're going to check the torque on the head first of all. And you need to do this periodically. Um, you need to torque this at 25 foot-pounds and the way you do this is you, you start in the center and X your way out to d distribute the torque. So we're going to start in here, check everything and make sure it's 25 foot-pounds, Xing your way back and forth until you get on the outside head nuts here. Alright, your head's torqued. Generally, when your head loosens up, it's usually on the exhaust side, and it's usually back by your firewall. These back in here are the ones that see the most heat, and these are the ones that will loosen up. So you'll probably get more pull on these than you will any of the other ones when you check your torque. You need to check it, you know, it's, it's even good to check it every other race or every four or five races. They do loosen up from the heat and everything else. So make sure you check the torque on your head. After you check your head, now that your head's torqued, the other thing you need to do is check your cam caps. These, these bolts right here, they torque to 100 inch pounds. So generally these don't loosen up hardly ever, <clears throat> but you need to go through and make sure all your caps are tight. Sometimes the rear two cylinders, uh, back by the firewall and the exhaust side, sometimes they'll loosen up a little bit because of all the heat. These are the ones that you need to make sure. If they start loosening up, that could cause them to start pulling the threads out which causes you to, to have to helicoil this. So when you, when you pull the valve cover off to check and adjust your valves and check everything out, make sure you torque everything to 100 in, inch pounds on the cam caps. After your cam caps are set, we're going to rotate the motor over and we're going to get the lobe until it's just above the gasket surface here. And this is where we at RRC check the valve lash. <clears throat> So we're going to get it just above the gasket surface, and you're going to check the lash. That's a little snug, and that's a real loose. That's going from a 7 to a tight 8. Now if I want to adjust this down to, let's say, a 5, you're going to rotate. These buckets are slotted on both sides 180 degrees out. So you're going to line this little slot up. So you can see it up in the front, and you're going to rotate your motor over, and it's going to compress, and you're going to use this tool <clears throat> to hold down your buckets. Push on this corner here to make sure everything's square, snug it up, and you rotate your motor back. <clears throat> And this holds the buckets down in place, compressed so you can pop the shims out. You're going to use a little, uh, little flathead screwdriver here. Slide this in the slot, pop your shim up, pull it out with a magnet. And this is a 262. So we have a tight 8 and we have a 262. So if we're going to go to, uh, to a 5, we're going to go from a 62 to a 70. You got a 70 shim here. You always want to make sure that the numbers that are wrote on the, the shim always face down. If you put them up, they'll end up rubbing off from the cam lobe. So you always face the number down. Slide it back in with your magnet, get it in place. Take your little screwdriver and give it a little twist and it snaps it back into that bucket. Rotate your cam back so it compresses.
Take the valve adjustment tool off. Rotate it back over just above the gasket surface and check your clearance again. That's a snug five right there and a very loose four. And that's how you adjust it. Simple like that. All the way down the line, same thing on both sides. <clears throat> when you adjust your, your valves also, you can rotate it over using, using a uh, 7 8 wrench and use it on the exhaust side. Never use it on the intake, always on the exhaust. When you rotate it, it's, counter, it's counterclockwise. When you rotate it backwards, you're going to hear the starter spin backwards and, and that's fine. But you can rotate it just like that. And there you have it. That's how you adjust your valves. We have uh, valve adjustment tools in stock as well as shim kits and anything else you ever need. If you have any questions on how to set your particular valve lash on your motor, just give us a ring at RRC at 704-784-4554.